where do I start? Honestly, where do I fucking start? It only gets worse, guys. It only gets worse. Moderation is hell, and it's actually not possible. I am not capable of moderation of alcohol in my life. And uh, my life for the last month and a bit has just been complete and utter chaos. <sighs> complete and utter chaos. Because I've been drinking a hell of a lot of alcohol. I'm still dealing with this bullshit, you know. I see videos that I've created and put out not that long ago, you know. We're talking, what, two, two and a half months ago, I, I put out a video titled Living Life on Easy Mode, and I was. And, you know, if I never put those videos out, I'd never be able to look back and reflect and realize that, you know, it wasn't that long ago where things were just going swell. And the only thing that you have to do to fucking get back there is first and foremost, get fucking sober. And so today, I'm back at day one, yet again, feeling sorry for myself. Feeling all of the feelings, feeling depressed, feeling regretful. Um, my trip to Thailand, I had the best of intentions. I honestly thought... Uh, I thought it was for the best. I thought um, I thought I, I needed it. Um, I thought I was going to go over there and land and keep kicking goals physically and mentally and just enjoy myself. Come back, you know, refreshed, revitalized once again. But none of that happened. Um, I brought alcohol back into my life on the 1st of February. Uh, my trip... I departed on the 22nd of February, so it was my intention to experiment with alcohol, bring it back for a couple of days, um, and then, you know, get right back on that bandwagon, because I was, I was dieting really, really hard, I was getting in great shape, um, you know, healthy foods, counting my calories, all that stuff, and, you know, what I've realized is that when I put a 30-day timer on things, or a 60-day, 90-day, it, it works against me, it, it works for me, initially because I'm really committed to it and I've got this goal in mind but eventually it works against me so counting days and having challenges like that it works against me because um, eventually I feel like I'm restricting myself and it's not a lifestyle change it's just a, a 30 day you know challenge and I feel like a lot of people go through this but what happened to me is that you know things were going so well for those 30 days of January or 31 days that I just went into complete and utter self-sabotage mode. It's happened before. I hope it doesn't happen again. But what that means, guys, is that from the 1st of February up until literally yesterday, Sunday the 10th of March, which is a 38-day period of time, I have been... Um, I've been in the midst of a, a, a chronic relapse. I couldn't, pull it, I couldn't pull it together. I couldn't pull it back. I couldn't. I just, I wanted to. I wanted to so badly, but I just couldn't fucking do it. I brought it back in and it took over once again. And, you know, I haven't been to the gym in, in 38 days. Um, I haven't eaten healthily in 38 days. I've put on a lot of weight. I don't want to weigh myself. Uh, I, I, I really don't, but you know, I'm going to have to. And in fact, you know what? Fuck it. I'll do it now. I'll do it now because I'm pretty dehydrated as well. I'm not going to lie, but um, yeah, I've got to do it. That's the thing. Like I've, I've got to know where I'm at because for me to turn this around, there's no, there's no smoke. There's no, you know, I can't procrastinate. I can't bullshit myself. I've got to be open, honest, accountable. And it starts today. And, you know, I went to Thailand. I dropped a whole lot of money on that trip. All I did was smoke weed and drink alcohol every single day and eat like a fucking arsehole, like worse than I've ever been. 
I wanted to stop drinking. I wanted to stop drinking. Each and every day I'd wake up saying, no, not today, not today. But it's so accessible. And I just, you know, I was depressed over there. I was more depressed there than I ever was back here because I was away from everyone. You know, I, was, I isolated myself. And that's what we do as addicts. We fucking isolate ourselves. And I think deep down that's all I wanted. You know, especially when I realized that, holy shit, I'm not going to be able to bring this drinking thing back uh, under control. And I realized, fuck, man, you're drinking every day, even up to the point that you're leaving to go over there. I mean, the last, even just the last three days, man, just the, the stress and anxiety of coming back to Alice Springs and, and not feeling good about myself. And, you know, my, my baseline mood is depressed and I'm thinking, how the fuck am I going to arrive and be excited and happy and, and, you know, for my kids, that's, that's what I'm thinking. And, um, you know, I was meant to be away for four weeks and I cut it to two because I just needed to be back in routine. And even today, you know, I'm not going to drink today. I can't, I won't. Uh, it's, it's over. The party's over. The fun has to, has to stop. And, you know, After a week, after a week of healthy choices, I know that I'm just going to be feeling that much better. But for the last 38 days, like I keep saying, I just have not been able to string any sort, any, any sense of sobriety, anything, anything good, anything positive. It's all been chaos. My life has been absolute fucking chaos. So today's the day, man. Back to day one. Day one sober. It's day three of taking weed out once again. And yeah, I was just about to say that the last three days I've actually consumed more alcohol than I, than I have recently. Like some days I'd limit it over in Thailand at least to like 10 standard drinks. Some days it would be up to like 20. And you know, the day that I got back here, which was Saturday, uh, it was a transit day. I bought a bottle of Jim Beam and Duty Free, arrived in Australia. I had a, I arrived in Australia Saturday morning and I had my flight out of uh, Melbourne to Alice uh, Saturday evening and arrived here Saturday evening and um, I cracked into that bottle of beam you know that bottle of Jim Beam I cracked into it and uh, that was at fucking nine in the morning on Saturday and once you start you don't want to stop and I had to ration it you know I had to ration it I had to make it last the whole day throughout the trip throughout the fucking the flight and back into Alice Springs and then throughout that entire night and I ended up tipping I ended up tipping you know, probably a quarter of the bottle out. It was a 1.125 litre bottle. I tipped a quarter of it out at the end of the night. I was just, you know, I was fucking buzzed. I was absolutely fucked. But I had a really, you know, playful, um, anxiety-free time with my kids arriving back. We played and, and played and I was in such a great mood because that's what alcohol did to me. You know, it just pushed away all of my problems and, you know, I was in the present moment. But <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. It's, it's confusing at times. Uh, clearly, I'm pretty confused right now. Um, but there's only one thing I need to do, and that's just stay sober for today. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. So that's why I'm making this video. It's been a while. It's been 38 fucking days, 38 chaotic days. And right now, I'm about to weigh myself. So let's do that. Okay, 91.9, due to the fact that I drank two bottles of wine yesterday, uh, and I haven't really drunk too much water today, um, that is fairly dehydrated. I think if I was to consume obviously a liter, liter and a half more water, I'd be up to like 93. And being that I got down to something like 86, 87 consistently 38 days ago, um, I've yeah, well and truly packed on maybe four or five kgs. And uh, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. So today's the day. That's why I'm making this video. I've felt, <laughs> I've felt, <laughs> oh man, can you imagine? Can you imagine how fucking shit I've felt some of these mornings and some of these afternoons just realizing, man, you, you've lost it. You've lost it. You've lost it, mate. All that shit you talked about being one of the 5% that, that can break this habit and, you know, healthily have a, have a, have a drink every now and then and, and, and put, put the bottle back down. Well, 
Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Still, even after all of this, to, to, to say to myself and convince myself that uh, I will never drink again, is it's, 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 I'd be lying if I said that, you know what I mean? But fuck. Yeah, really frustrating, really frustrating at times. Um, but I'm back here now, uh, you know, with my kids, which is where I need to be. It's where I want to be. I don't want to be away from them if I, if, if I don't have to be. Um, but yeah, back in Ulla Springs, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. I guess I did get something positive from going away, which was just a, a, a real hard look inside myself about, uh, you know, why, what, you know, the reasons why I shouldn't have done it, uh, what I need to change coming back. And yeah, I mean, it was just, oh, it was just hectic. You know, you, you can't buy alcohol until 11 o'clock in the morning. And I'd be at the shop at, at two past 11, you know, every single morning whilst I was away, because that's all I had to fucking look forward to. You know, the, the, the dream of going over there and, and going to Tiger Muay Thai, it was just impossible. It was, it was an impossibility because physically I just felt so shit. Um, every single day and you know I'll leave you with this this is when you know I guess you're an alcoholic or, or when your alcoholic tendencies can just take a whole nother level and the moment that happens is when you realize that it doesn't matter how bad you feel uh, of a morning through a hangover it doesn't matter how bad it is if you can if you can down, you know, three or four, five standard drinks that morning, it's going to take it away. And so what you can sadly end up doing is just drinking all day, every day. And the only thing that stopped me from drinking, you know, nearing the you know mid, mid to late afternoon over there, I drink pretty solidly from about 11 o'clock in the morning to fucking five, six. Didn't want to stop, but I knew I had to if I was going to even function the next day. And the only reason I stopped is when I started smoking weed. So yeah, just a classic, classic fucking relapse, man. Total relapse on everything good in my life, everything positive. Um, it was drinking, then smoking weed, and then eating. Day after day after day. And I had another 14 days of that staring me smack bang in the face. And I decided to just cut it because I just knew that I wasn't gonna be able to stop. I needed to get back to Alice Springs, needed to get back into routine, needed to get back around my kids and just needed to just be real with myself and you know, rip the bandaid off, so to speak, and just get back to reality, because that is not reality. It's a very fucking sad reality. It's a scary reality. And all Thailand did was chew me up and spit me out. So here I am, uh, I'm back. I don't know when my next video will be, but this is, yeah, this is day one, once again. Trying to be as positive as possible. In fact, you know, one thing I will give myself credit for is the ability to drink so much and feel so shit in the morning, but still get up. Still get up, you know? There's never been a day where I don't fucking get up. There's never been a day where I've just had such a bad hangover where I've said, look, kids, no, no, I just can't do it. I'm not getting up. Or I said to Miffy, you know, I just can't do it. Uh, I've always just done it. I've just pushed through, you know, and that is it's struggle street every single motherfucking day. And that's not what life's meant to be like. So that's enough for me. I wish you all well. Um, one like equals one prayer. Today I won't be drinking. I've got to go pick my daughters up from school in about an hour. And, uh, I've just got to be okay with who I am without alcohol. You know, it masks this just sense of depersonalization, I think, at times. I'm always living my life through what I think other people want to see or, or, or do see. And really, no one else gives a fuck. Everyone's, everyone's dealing with their own shit, you know. So I have to fucking look inside and realize that, you know, you've got to be doing things. You've got to be living your life for you, um, not for anyone else. Because it doesn't lead anywhere good. And these 30-day challenges, you know... They're fun and they create content for the channel, but sadly they, they, they set me up for failure afterwards. And I, I'm definitely aware of that right now. 
So, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Much love.